Wagwan. You miss me? Cause me miss you. Yes, this week on Entertainment Recap. Cardi B's dancehall theme birthday bash. Hmm. Claims that Buju Banton's daughter went missing. Ed Sheeran's comment on Aishana's equal rights and justice. These and lots more. I'm your host, Alicia. Let's get into it. Like every year, a rapper, Cardi B celebrates her birthday with a bang. And this year, she decided to do so with a dancehall theme and reviews and pictures of it broke the internet entirely. It was a hit. Dancehall acts such as Ding Dong and Spice, who performed Shenseya and model Winnie Harlow, who were part of the guests. And I tell you, the guests, the tunnel. DJs Noah Power and Chromatic who played and a plethora of excitement deem the event one of the best yet for Cardi, who is also known to plan extravagant parties. Cardi B, big up to you. I guess so. Sure. Just, just go on and be yourself. And the theme was a great one. And it's very obvious that you had fun. After an uproar on Tuesday, October 12, 2021, on the internet about reggae artist Bojo Banton's daughter, Abby Hale Mary, being missing, it turned out to be fake news. In a statement from Maurice McCurdy, a lawyer for Abby Hale's mother, to a local newspaper, Abby Hale Mary has informed the Constant Spring Police that her daughter is safe. Her brother Jazeel then took to Twitter in a series of tweets stating that it's nothing more than a family feud. His first tweet said, Please, I'm not a part of the family feud. I separate myself from everyone and everything because I'm doing music and it's going to affect me and my career. I don't know what to say. I'm doing my music by myself. If you notice, please don't get me involved. And then his last tweet about the situation was, my sister is not missing. That is a lie. Reggae songstress Savannah should return to the Westmoreland Parish Court on November 23rd, 2021 for an incident that took place on May 25th, 2021. Savannah, given the name Anna Blake, appeared in Westmoreland Parish Court on Tuesday, October 19, 2021 for a preliminary hearing based on charges made against her for causing death by dangerous driving. The incident took place along the Scott Cove Main Road in White House, Westmoreland. Her lawyer, Eugene Morgan, told a local newspaper that Savannah is under no restrictions, so she is still able to book for shows and perform internationally and locally. Violence is never the answer for anything, but in an industry that is male dominant, it seems as if the females struggle in various areas that would not only harm them physically, but also mentally. Jamaican dancehall artist Maka Diamond sympathizes with dancehall artist Tanya Stevens after coming out for being raped by a male artist when she was 17 years old. Maka recalls the moment filled with tears on her Instagram live. Here's a bite from her live. One of the students made me get some dub plate from the artist and me I said, John, I can't eat my little food weekend. And so I get my little dub them now and I me, chat me out, chat out and call my little boss. And uh, them time I want to email song to people. We just we have to get them on CD and sound man, we have to send them to them. Or, we never remember how it reach. And me well gone my studio now because me I said this and I hang out every year. I gone to the studio now, which part the artist there. But not really give me no dub, but me and the producer good and I this and I record and they might show me like a good love. Otherwise, from not giving me dub. So I head out now and say I gone to the studio now, gone, gone, hang out and, 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 um, and do what I have to do. 
But when they walk into the studio, this is some holy tough face man because you know, they know them tender artists have them entourage. I don't even know. Artists have 20 men around them and holy entourage. So I see this big old entourage with a man that look at me like me do something wrong. So me I say, what will me do? About 20 men in the studio ever full up a man. I'm still one of the man that look at me weird and which part of the studio they want big old gate, you know, them high gate that will make out the high hand. And we don't see gate locked behind me, plop. And me I say, Walk one. Sit on the artist walk out. Hey girl, they run a studio. Run our studio, I deal with artists. Women are like on you call up my name and I mean, say, what you talk about? Me just me go a dope plate, me go look. I me beg a dope plate all the while they don't want to give me something and understand better. The artist never want you nothing. I don't know what the artist do. Take up one big piece of board and when him done broke it up on me you know me in my back left right and me talk about artists who want to love and say we meet every day when we see the artists and we see the people around him down and people say them love this man the man take the board and lick me straight right back through the, the iron gate right through the gear <laughs> Ed Sheeran's Shape of You has been remixed numerous amount of times. But, I mean, when asked in his interview with the Dutch Music Radio, Q Music, he stated that Jamaican songstress Aisha Not Equal Rights is his favorite, knowing the lyrics word for word, my love. Don't believe me? Take a look. I just got started. What you think one round can do? Bump to your father. He did state that the song was raunchy, but he still likes the song. I love the love that the music industry is giving our culture and genre, both locally and internationally. How can you sing to it? Because I've listened to it so many times. This week's new music comes from Alkaline with Maniac, Diane with Ride It, TJ with Bitcoin, and Coffee with West Indies. Take a look. Lighting up any time, any time, my bad. Bad shit, you don't know if they believe. I'm dying, I'm a big money. Lighting up any time. Legendary dream, so much money she off it on in our feet. Yeah. Chance for me, a maniac. Chance for me, a maniac. Fire, fire in our heart. Good Lord, good Lord, good Lord. Good Lord, good Lord, good Lord. Good Lord. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, mama, love it when you ride it. Ah. Flipping money, flipping money, so we do the line. Washing money, dirty money, mean we do the grime. Connection strong like the Wi Fi. Mexican, no, live the puppy lifestyle. Colombian food with couple white ties. I'm Mr. Law, so like me a white type. Me girl like Rosa, me a buy rice. Coming from the West Indies, and you know, so we giving them the best indeed. Anywhere we there, we do a flex fan street. And this style, what we do, no matter red stampede. And I interview no bad question. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday this individual, happy birthday to you. This week's birthday shout out goes to reggae artist Jackyor, although currently in some hot water in the Netherlands. Have a happy, happy, happy birthday and continue to do great work and just big up you. And on that note, thanks for watching PBCJ's Entertainment Recap. I'm your girl, Alicia. Remember to follow us on all socials at PBC Jamaica. Thanks to Air Candy as per usual for my mini hoops, my mini, mini loops, yes. And remember to follow them at the Air Candy Collection on Instagram. On that note, keep it locked for next week. And just remember, always, and forever, big up to all you!